Dogs are cute. Dogs are wonderful. Dogs are a man's best friend. But here's the thing. Did you know that some doggos aren't quite as wholesome and as innocent as others? <coughs> Did you know that some dogs break the law just by existing? These are the most illegal dog breeds in the world. Number 15. American Bulldog The American Bulldog is a beautiful animal that fits into many people's families perfectly. But that doesn't mean that they are welcome in every country. In fact, the American Bulldog, which is quite a strong-willed dog, is not allowed in Singapore or Denmark. <laughs> this breed has also been responsible for the mauling of a five-year-old girl in 2009 and the attacks of children on a school bus. Every dog is capable of attacking, but some breeds are even more capable than others. American Bulldogs are agile, obedient, and athletic dogs. People also adore them for their confidence, strength, tenacity, and ability to pull their weight while hunting or working on a farm. But they have their drawbacks as well. They can be standoffish towards strangers, and can also become aggressive if not socialized with other animals early on. They require a firm owner who is confident, consistent, and has a stronger will than the dog. If you want to own an American Bulldog, you have to be quite careful. Choose the right puppy from the right breeder and get training underway as soon as possible. Then you can enjoy a well-rounded family pet. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Fila Brasileiro in the United States In the United States alone, the Fila Brasileiro, or Brazilian Mastiff, is banned in Wisconsin, Colorado, Kansas, Oregon, and Washington. It may also be prohibited in several other countries and cities around the world. <laughs> Ask any owner of a Filo Brasileiro and they'll likely tell you that they are a hard-working dog who is loving, playful, excellent around kids, and affectionate. They'll also be quick to point out that they are massive, standing as tall as 30 inches and weighing up to 180 pounds. They don't sound like decent reasons for a dog to be banned, do they? The truth is, though, that the Fila Brasileiro doesn't have the best reputation. It is a breed that's been known for aggressive tendencies and is suited only for experienced dog owners. Fila Brasileiros are fiercely loyal to their families. Therefore, they love everything they consider theirs and stand guard against anything that isn't. This may not exactly be a recipe for success if someone's innocently passing by or delivering your mail. As a result, some states and cities see this breed as a liability. Number 13. Alaskan Malamutes there's no denying that Alaskan Malamutes are beautiful dogs. But as it turns out, they're also illegal to own in some states of the United States, or at least have a few limitations. But why? Well, they are a trainable dog, but they also require, or demand, a lot of exercise. Go see Pops. Their prey drive is also incredibly strong, which makes them a danger to many small animals. Let's put it this way, your neighbor's cats are not safe. Their desire to hunt can make them a threat to many animals in your neighborhood. They are also quite a dominant breed, which means that putting two dogs together of the same gender if you're not experienced is truly a terrible idea. Any fights between these dogs can be life-threatening. Therefore, some cities and states decide to make it easier on themselves and just ban the breed. Of course, there are some people who need this breed, such as those who take part in backpacking, weight pulling, sledding, and ski joring. Malamutes are well and truly in their element when pulling or spending time in the great outdoors. But basically, to own this breed, you really do need to have a lot of experience. Number 12. Doberman Pinscher Doberman Pinschers don't appear at the top of many banned dog lists, but they are at least on the records of a few small cities. And while there are several reasons why Doberman Pinschers make excellent pets, there are also a few reasons why people are a little weary of them. 
They are a dog breed that requires a responsible owner who can dedicate a lot of time to training. They are a loyal, faithful companion, but possibly to a fault. Without training to show them how to respond appropriately around strangers, a little wariness can turn into aggression. They are trained for the purpose of protection, and they are definitely an ideal deterrent. Still, you not only need to make sure you buy them from a reputable breeder, but that you train and socialize them to both be a part of the family and a safe animal for strangers to be around. Not all Dobermans are. What's more, they're a breed that requires a lot of exciting jobs to do. They demand stimulation and can get themselves into a lot of trouble if they don't get it. There's no denying that this breed can be a well-rounded, lovable family pet. But they can also be the complete opposite. Number 11. Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog the Czechoslovakian wolf dog is banned in many places, but not necessarily because of anything it did wrong. Many wolf hybrids are forbidden because they may not be as safe to own as a regular dog. <coughs> In saying that, while Finland restricts ownership of wolf dogs, the Czech wolf dog is excluded from that list. So it can't be all bad. In fact, it's not. This beautiful animal is one that many people love to own. They are an intelligent, loyal, and powerful dog that is extremely devoted to its owner. They have exceptional hearing, sight, and smell, and they serve many different purposes. For example, they're commonly used in the US and Europe for search and rescue. People also value them for working dog sports, agility, obedience, and herding. They are a dog of all trades. Still, they're not the best choice for a first-time owner. They also require a lot of training and socialization to keep other pets, children, and even adults as safe as possible. Therefore, I suppose some cities are taking a cautious approach. By placing a blanket ban on wolf hybrids, they're trying to reduce the number of potential dog attacks, and you can't blame them for that. Number 10. Neapolitan Mastiff Looking at a Neapolitan Mastiff, you may not think it's all that surprising that some countries impose restrictions on their ownership. After all, just look at the sheer size of them. Thanks for the kisses. This is Mariposa, we just kind of call her Mariposa. In Singapore, it's illegal to own this breed. In Romania, you must pass a psychological evaluation. In saying that, not everyone is convinced that these dogs are deserving of ownership restrictions, especially not if they're brought up right. Neapolitan Mastiffs, when socialized and trained, are quiet, calm, and relaxed dogs. Sure, they're massive and are definitely protective, but some people believe that a Chihuahua has more attitude and savageness than this gentle giant. Like anything, it's all in how you bring them up. As a puppy, socialization and training are key. They can be quite stubborn, but they respond well to praise and food, don't we all? They're also not likely to start fights, but the problem is, they can undoubtedly end them. That's why some people are wary of owning such a large breed. However, with a well-rounded one that sees you as the pack leader, you'll find yourself in possession of a huge, drooling, snoring, and lovable doggo you wouldn't want to be without. Number 9. Presa Canario If you live in a country that has a lot of dog breed bands, then you'll probably see Presa Canario on the list more often than not. Now, we don't like to say bad things about our sweet, innocent doggo friends, but it is worth noting that this pooch doesn't have the best record, and for that, we're quite sad. <laughs> The Presa Canario ranked fourth in the 1982-2014 report for dog attacks. It was responsible for 111 of them, 46 of which were against children and 41 against adults. Out of all attacks, 18 resulted in death and 63 resulted in permanent injuries. As you can see, they are not a dog to mess with. They are quite powerful, and that is unfortunately not used for good. Many criminals and bad people use this dog for fighting, taking advantage of their aggressive streak that can form when they're not trained. Sure, they are a loyal pet and guard dog when trained, but entirely unpredictable when they're not. What's more, if you are not the pack leader, you would find that the Presa Canario is a strong-willed dog that's difficult to control. These traits are not a recipe for success. Number 8. Akita 
The Akita is banned or restricted in Washington, Iowa, Louisiana, Michigan, and Tennessee. As a result, if you own this beautiful breed, you won't be able to move there with it, or you'll be required to follow specific ownership regulations. <laughs> The Akita Rescue of the Mid-Atlantic said that Akitas generally have a reputation for being aggressive. They come from Japan and are described as a noble hunter and guard dog. They were originally bred for hunting, so they are definitely a courageous breed. However, their natural confidence, along with their protectiveness, can be a terrible combination. They can react aggressively if provoked, and are also very protective of food. As a result, if you accidentally or purposefully go near their food, you may find yourself in quite a spot of bother. Any dog can be cause for concern when they are not well socialized, but the Akita is a breed that requires a little more work. If you own one, you have to be willing to put a lot of time and effort into training while being aware of their natural traits and instincts. Number 7. Tosa Ken the Tosa Ken is a beautiful, interesting dog in many ways. And just looking at it, you may find it hard to believe that it's banned in several countries. You will not see this dog in Australia, New Zealand, Turkey, the UK, Denmark, Iceland, Malta, Norway, and several other places. <laughs> Some countries do allow ownership of Tosa Ken, but put restrictions in place to make it a complicated process. But why? Well, they are a fighting dog in Japan. They were initially bred as a massive fighting machine and are therefore quite powerful and strong, not to mention stubborn. They also pick up a bite inhibition early on from their mother, so it takes an experienced owner to train this out of them from a young age. If you don't, you end up with a large, dominant dog that has a natural instinct to bite and one that you can't stop. This breed also has a high pain tolerance, so if it finds itself in an altercation with another dog, it will nearly always come out on top. It has no problem defending itself and is quite reactive. While beautiful, you will not find the Tosa Ken an easy dog to own. Number 6. Boxer Now, this one might surprise you. How on earth could a big, bouncy, wiggly, friendly boxer be one of the most illegal dog breeds in the world? Well, technically, they aren't banned, except in Ukraine, but some countries have restrictions in place to make sure only responsible owners can have them. Surprisingly, from 1982 to 2014, boxers were behind 62 attacks. 23 adults and 19 children were hurt, and there were also 7 deaths. There is no denying that these energetic dogs are lovable, but they are also exceptionally loyal, powerful, and muscly. Maybe not the best recipe when they're put in a situation where they think they have to defend their family. In many other ways, though, the Boxer is a loving family pet. They grow up to about 75 pounds and can be fawn, brindle, or white. They also have powerful jaws, a square muzzle, and short fur. Believe it or not, they are the 11th most popular dog in the United States. They are not aggressive or vicious by nature, but they become attached to their family and grow into their instinctive guardian nature. So they, like most dogs, need plenty of socialization early on. Number 5. Pit Bulls Are Illegal In The UK after 15 fatal dog attacks in Wales and England in the decade between 1981 and 1991, the United Kingdom was fed up. They were tired of vicious dogs and they wanted action. So that's what they got. Pit bulls, along with the Fila Brasilero, the Dogo Argentino, and the Japanese Toso, were all outlawed in the Dangerous Dogs Act. There's no scientific backing to actually say that these particular dog breeds are any more dangerous than, say, your average Pomeranian or Labrador. However, they have been favored by criminals who train them to attack. Some exceptions can be granted to own a pit bull, but you can't breed, sell, or exchange them. They also have to be muzzled in public, on a lead, registered, neutered, insured, tattooed, and microchipped. 
criminals really do give this breed a bad name. There's no discernible difference in aggression between a pit bull type dog and a golden retriever, according to the American Temperament Test Society. What's more, pit bulls have long served as police dogs, search and rescue dogs, and in films. It's crucial not to tar them all with the same brush. How about we tar their owners instead? Number 4. Bull Terrier the Bull Terrier breed often gets the short end of the stick. Some countries have put restrictions on their ownership, or at least look down upon people who own them. But it's worth knowing that the English Bull Terrier's not really as bad as they're made out to be. They were bred for centuries to fight other dogs. <laughs> so it makes sense for people to think that they are vicious. They are also powerful, sturdy dogs, which can add to that impression. But would you believe me if I told you that they're generally no more aggressive than any other dog? Just like any other dog, it's more or less about the training and upbringing. English Bull Terriers have a lot of self-control and non-aggression. These traits have been encouraged through generations and generations of breeding. So they are actually known as a patient, tolerant, calm, and collected breed. They are friendly towards their owners, and quite friendly with most people they meet, in fact. Sure, they're a little clumsy in play, which can make them not suitable for playtime around kids, but otherwise, they are one of the more patient and calm dogs. So is their reputation and subsequent ownership restrictions really fair? Well, you be the judge. Number 3. German Shepherd Around a dozen countries like Ireland, the United States, Ukraine, and Malaysia put restrictions on the ownership of German Shepherds. And while they are a beautiful and popular dog, we're not at all surprised that they are one to approach with caution. They rank third in the most deaths caused by dog bites, having been responsible for 15 fatalities in a 12-year period. From 1982 to 2014, they were also responsible for 113 attacks. Given their use as a police dog, we're not sure if those figures include attacks in the line of duty, but it does at least outline how powerful this dog really is. German Shepherds were bred for herding livestock, but that doesn't mean that they don't have aggressive tendencies. They are large, powerful dogs that need someone to take control at all times. They were used a lot during the Second World War and became popular in the United States during the early 20th century. They are highly trainable, protective, athletic, and responsive. So they have many of the traits that have become useful for search and rescue tasks, drug detection, police work, and bomb detection. Still, both their physical and mental strength make them unsuitable for first-time dog owners. Number 2. Dogo Argentino the Dogo Argentino is banned in several countries, including Australia, New Zealand, and Portugal. It weighs in at around 100 pounds and has been used for dogfighting in the past. This beautiful but banned breed was bred in Argentina in 1928. It came from the Cordoba Fighting Dog, which is now extinct, and was a mix of such breeds as the Great Dane, Dog de Bordeaux, and Irish Wolfhound. Looking at the Dogo Argentino, it is clearly a large dog, but is it deserving of being banned? Well, yes and no. Typically, they are friendly and cheery dogs. They make beautiful companions and are reasonably intelligent. In saying that, they aren't overly child or dog friendly. They are also a fearless hunter and watchdog, more so than a companion with which you can cuddle up on the sofa. You have to put a lot of time and effort into training, and even then, it's with the knowledge that they have a predisposition to be aggressive. So while you might not ever give this dog a reason to bite, it may be a fear at the back of your mind. As a result, several countries have taken preventative measures to make it illegal to own one. Number 1. Four Bull. If you want to own a boar bull and live in Denmark, then you're out of luck. This South African dog that resembles a bull mastiff is banned there. <laughs> The boar bull, which roughly translates to farm dog in Dutch, is the product of guard dogs and African dogs being mixed. Bull mastiffs were brought into South Africa by De Beers to guard mines, and they became popular for their guarding abilities ever since. They are also not overly aggressive, but their heft makes them quite terrifying to some. They can weigh up to 150 pounds. 
Perhaps one of the most convincing reasons why this dog is illegal in some places is that it's capable of killing people. Without appropriate training and socialization, there is the potential for it to do great harm. For example, a woman was found in Brent Creek unresponsive with her boar bull guarding her. Her wounds were consistent with an animal attack. She owned six of them and had been offering puppies for sale. There are surely plenty of loving boar bulls out there, but they will require experienced owners to be the pack leader. Some countries and lawmakers feel like they're banning particular breeds for good reason. Still, you won't always get it right. Which one of these banned dogs surprised you the most? Do you own any of them? Do you think these breeds are as dangerous as they're being made out to be? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!